Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 9a. Ruth 1, verse 9a. And Naomi said, The Lord grant that you may find rest, each in the house of her husband. Amen. The Lord grant that you may find rest, each in the house of her husband. Amen. Praise the Lord. So in this this in the in the narrative of this story, uh, we if we're familiar with the story, um, Naomi had gone down to Moab with her husband. He died. Her two sons got married. Then they died, and now it's just Naomi and her two daughters, Ruth and Orpah. And when Ruth decides to come back to Israel because God was doing a work there, she told both Ruth and um, Orpah to go back to their households. And this was her, her prayer that they would grant faith and they would find rest each in the house of her husband. Amen. Now, in those days, it was the primary, and it's still for many today, but maybe not as much, but the the primary thing for a young lady was to find a husband and have children and that would she'd find peace she'd find rest for her soul to fulfill her what she believes is her role her purpose in life um, of course today society it may not be that way for some but that was what where a woman could find rest when she got married and was raising a household and so forth but of course we are a spiritual beings and and we want to know what this means for each and every one of us so first we're going to talk about husband and wife if the wife was finding rest in her husband we need to know who in our life is the husband and who is the wife ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 says husbands love your wives just as christ also loved the church and gave himself for her amen the husband is Jesus Christ. The bride is the church. We are the church. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 54, verse 5, for your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name, and your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is our husband, and we are his bride. Praise the Lord. So when we look at our word of the day, and we see that May the Lord grant us that we might find rest in the house of our husband, and that is God himself. That rest, we need to have that rest. This is the God's will for all of us is to find rest in him. Praise the Lord. Hebrews 4, verse 10, 1 through 10 says, Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. What is, the, what is this word talking about? It's talking about the Israelites when they were in the wilderness and God wanted to bring them into a promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey, with giant fruit and all of that, and where they would find rest. But they did not have the faith to believe that God could take out all the giants, everything that was scary in that promised land. What does that mean for us? As long as we think that we've got to protect ourselves, as long as we think that we're uh, we that God can't deliver us from every addiction and every fault of our own, or we just think it's just too impossible for us to be able to find this place of just totally resting in Him, then we will struggle. What we need is faith so that we can enter that rest. Praise the Lord. For we who have believed do enter that rest as he has said. So I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in this way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place they shall not enter my rest. Since, therefore, it remains that some must enter it, and those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience or unbelief, again he designates a certain day, saying in David, Today, after such a long time, as it has been said, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not afterward 
have spoken of another day. There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his own, for his works as God did from his. Amen. Praise the Lord. See, God has ordained it all. He knows the beginning from the end. He has a plan for each and every one of our lives. And he just wants us to, to trust that he is the one who's going to do it. He will remove every giant that we face. He will transform the things in us that we think are impossible. All we got to do is believe and follow his voice and rest and know that we've got a husband taking care of us and providing for us. And uh, just 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 trusting that he who began a good work in us will complete it, not trying to be good on our own, not trying to make things happen. All of that is unbelief. It's faith that brings us into his rest, faith that he'll protect us, everything. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this word today. And we ask you, Lord, to help us find rest in the house of you, our husband, Lord. We need the faith to believe it. And you're the author and finisher of our faith. Convict us anytime we're trying to do something out of our own strength, thinking that we can help a situation, we can fix a situation, we can correct people, whatever it is. Help us truly believe that you have the plan. It's all done. And that we could, your works were already figured out before the beginning of the creation of this earth. Bring us to that place of rest in you. That's the promised land, Lord, that you want us all to enter. And that way you're glorified and we are blessed. Help us get there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.